long story, I got stabbed a bag of times, yeah. Wow. Like, I got stabbed 24 times in one sitting, one situation. Boom, 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 boom. You stabbed me up, mad thing. 24 times, yeah. Cut loose. We're not going to get into that story today. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have that another time. Okay. Today we are talking my favourite thing. Man. That's what we're talking today. All things man. You know I don't really step over, you know, the boundaries with the ladies thing, but I'm all about the manses. And I have someone that I think is a huge influencer, especially on social media, who reps men hard. Not like that, but <laughs> talks about men, what they need to do, how they need to be. So that's what this wing in it is all about. So we're going to talk all things men. Welcome, Mr. Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my dear, thank you. So I, I brought you on because you do like dirty debates and yeah. you're forever chatting about what men should and what relationship is and this and that and the roles, yeah? yeah. You know, do you find it hard being a black man in 2021? Um, do you know what? I, I've started, people have asked me that question before, yeah? And I think it's just being, I think it's hard just being a man full stop. I don't Why? think it's about being Because honestly, you lot have an easy, man. you lot have an easy ride. How so? I'm going to tell you why. I yeah? Break down. Let me just tell you exactly this why. This is interesting. You do I not love have, the way this is started. You do not have <laughs> to get a human out of your vagina, number one. Mm-hmm. You do not have to have monthly period pains, number okay. two. Mm-hmm. You lot deal with emotions and have an excuse, I'm a man, so I don't need to cry, I don't oh. need to whatever. The excuse is you, what you call it's it. It's an excuse. Okay. There are a lot of things that you lot choose not to do because you are men. We don't have those opportunities. All right. Can I give you a different angle to look at it from then? So if you look at it from before I was even here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Stone Age. From 19 how long? (laughs) Okay. However long you want to call it. (laughs) Yeah. Men have got this thing of we're supposed to be strong. We're supposed to be providers, protectors of women. Yes. And whichever else it is. In order to be somewhat successful, you have to be those three things. Okay. Any form of expression of emotions or whatever else it is is deemed as what usually weak. Right. So if this has been not for, me, oh, not, for oh, me. not for you, but this is now in twenty twenty, yeah. men are supposed to be able to talk and express their yeah, emotions. You are. But from however long ago, when we was growing up and our dads and whatever else it is, we if, supposed to do that. you weren't supposed to do that. So if our fathers and grandfathers and whatever else it is have taught us that we're supposed to be strong all the time, bear in mind you get licked by your mother and she'll tell you what? What are you crying for? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... But I was saying the same thing. No, though. that's cool though. No, no, that's cool. But then, when you stop and, all right, cool, I'm supposed to affirm it throughout my whole life and you're supposed to affirm everything, heartbreak, all of these things that you're dealing with. Very mm-hmm. man, I can't come and talk to you about heartbreak. You've never dealt with it as a man. Just, but as a man... But I've I, dealt with it differently as a woman. Exactly. How you deal with your emotions is completely different from how we do with our emotions. Okay, so because, how do men deal with heartbreak? Tell me. But again, like I said, enough man will sit down and cry in their corner by themselves and not say nothing because me coming to chat to my man about it. Man up, but I hear you still. And yeah. you telling me I hear you still doesn't necessarily heal how I'm dealing with this yeah. right now. So what do you, you expect crazy? then? What do you expect from the man then when you say my heart is Listen, broken? Listen, it's not about me having expectations of the man then. It's about understanding the roles that you have with the friends that you have. Mm. Each person who plays, each friend that you have plays a certain yeah, well. role. You can have a rich brethren that you know is tight as fuck. So you won't ask him for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your brethren who might be on his last <laughs> £40, you know he will give you a tenner if you yeah, need yeah, it. You yeah, know what I'm saying yeah, to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Understand the roles that you have. Understand the roles that these people play. You have less stress with these people. But does that come with you? age, though? Because you're in your 30s. Yeah, yeah. Is that a different sense that you had when you was in your 20s? Of course it's a different... Because you used to roll with different. what, a bag of man? Well, not even necessarily a bag of man, but I had my times where I was around the man then. But my thing is this, there's always been, I know who I could talk to about certain things. Do mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying to you? So if I'm stressed about a girl, for example, or a woman, for example, at the time, when I'm 21, 22, 23, I'm not going to, that's not conversation for the wall outside. When <laughs> yeah. we're going to chat, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That conversation might be with my one cousin who understood how long it took me to get to that girl in the first place yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Do you understand it now? So, but, my, but my thing is, in relationships, and let's, let's just look briefly mm-hmm. on the role of men and women in relationships. You guys' roles have been more or less defined. You know, you were saying about, you know, you need to be the head of the household, whatever. That's been that way forever long. Mm-hmm. Us women has had to step up and meet where you've not met. We have to be the ones that are flexible and the ones that change and the ones that when you lack, we've got to pick mm-hmm. it up. Our job is hard. Um, listen. Because we don't want to offend point? you. I've been blamed as castrating my man because I earn more. 
or because I have that's, to pay the bill. That's that's I think that's a him thing, to be honest with you. Like I said, if you then feel that you're in a right, you're in a relationship and your woman is earning more than you, and that's a major thing to you, that's a you issue. That's something you need to look at with it. Or maybe it's a pride thing or an ego thing or whatever else it is. Or you not having that conversation and meeting in the middle with your partner and just having that conversation about, all right, cool, maybe babes, I need to help me find something where I can earn it a little bit. Or he needs to push himself to make And that's him, my problem. That's his thing. There's many men in 2021 that do not have the tenacity to push themselves. They are relying on women to push them. We are not your mums. No, again, some of it is a reliance. Some of, I'm not disputing that there is a lot of men that rely on their women to push them or whatever else it is. But it's not everybody. Do you? rely on a woman to push me. Yeah. No, I'm very I'm very much a person who you told me that I can't have it, I can't get it. Okay. I'm very much that way in Why is it, how has that come about though? Um do you know what? I've always been since a kid and I don't it's not because of a lack of or whatever else it is, I've always just kind of if you say to me, like, do you know what, that's two and two is four, you know? Two and two is four. <laughs> But I heard, yeah, if you add three and one, yeah, you get me? You can do yeah, it. Four, six, it's the, do you know what I mean? So I'm that person who've always tried to go about it and whatever else it is. Like, say, for example, this lockdown, for example, mm. I've probably had more success in 2020 yeah. than I did in the past two years prior to it. Okay. Based on how much, you don't talk about what the world's closed, yeah? All right, cool, I'm going to go and shoot a movie outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I'm yeah, that yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, but, and what I noticed as well, though, men can't do both. In regards to... So you can't build up yourself and do your movie and whatever and have a relationship at the same time. I've Why noticed a lot what? of men that say, oh, I'm focused on my thing. I'm not really All here right. for it. I'm here for just doing All what right. I got to do. There is, a lot is of, there is a lot of people that do that feel like they can't focus on both. That's for, And to be honest with you, you have to credit that person. If you look at somebody who says to you, listen, babes, I don't feel like I could be a devoted partner, boyfriend, fiance. But yeah, you still want to grind me though. But anyway. Th- that's your business. If you decide that you wanted to open your legs to a man that said that he doesn't want to be devoted to you because you wanted the grind too, that's your problem now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying to you? Did if if from Jump Street he said to you, babes, I'm not in a position where I feel like I could be devoted to you like that or whatever else it is. I like you. I don't mind the look of grind thing. And you give it to him, and then four, five, six, seven months later, eight months later, but you're I, upset I'm, because I'm your emotions are kicking in. I'm thinking my thing will change his mind, isn't it? That's your fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying to you. This is what happens a lot of the time. But before, I've been in this situation beforehand. And are you telling me a pumpkin mate change your mind? No, never. If I'm in a situation, no, I'm telling you this: sex is not going to be enough to make a man stay in a household. Like, it's never going to be enough. What is it enough? Because me, it's I was him. giving food, I it's was him. giving it's clothes, him. I was giving it's all sorts, and it wasn't you. enough to it's stay in the you. household. It wasn't what? you. So what is it? Who it's is it him. then? It's for him. He has to want it. Let me explain something to you. You see, if I cherish this bottle, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to hold on to it with dear life. Yeah? yeah? I might fuck up somehow and make it slip and drop. Yeah. If this breaks, I'm going to be upset because I cared about it. Mm -hmm. If this drops and it breaks and I don't really care and I do the same thing with the next one or whatever else Mm -hmm. it is, it's not a loss because I didn't really care in the first place. Yeah. You see what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So if I'm picking you up and dropping you, picking you up and dropping you, and you're realising that you're being picked and dropped, you kind of have to look and say, does this person really actually care about the value of this bottle, really and truly? And And do you think that women don't care about their value? It's not even that they don't care about the value. I think sometimes it gets lost in the whirlwind of emotions of loving that other person so much. Mm. That's what I think it is. I think it's, they tend to not devalue themselves, but forget or, or for a moment forget the value they carry and the power they possess when they're doing this. Oh my God, I love him so much. Oh my God, I just want him to be better for me and then whatever else it is. Why you got to talk like that? <laughs> Why, Why you got to talk like that? Am I lying? Like, am I lying? This is what it is. I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not taking the piss. <laughs> and I'm not taking the piss. But this is what it is. If you check it and say to myself, all right, do you know what? This person is treating me like an absolute dickhead. Yeah. I look good. I do this, this, yes. this, 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 yes. this, this, this. I carry my own and book. Yes. And this person is not rated. All right, what do I now have to do? Go about your business. So the problem is where? Going back my business is hard. Right then. It's hard. No, but you know what? I'm not saying it's easy because you've built attachments or whichever else it is, but you then have to look at it for what it actually is. We're not kids anymore. Yeah. In finding your foot in stages or whatever else it is, people make mistakes. But when you're months and years, not even months, years into relationships and time has been spent and people understand each other for however long, 
you then have to look at it and say, all right, does this person actually respect the person I am? Does this person value me enough to the point where you do not want to lose me? Or Are you a cheater? You can? I have cheated many a time. Why? I have to, listen, sweetie, oh, let, me, no, let me explain something to you. Let me I like to, you know. Listen to, that's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to, <laughs> listen, but let me explain something to you. I've, I was, I'm not blaming on this. Okay. Yeah. I was never taught anything about being a man by anybody. Anyone. Bear in mind, my mum can't teach me. No, no. I never had that. I never had that. So I grew up via my experiences. I learned what, or or learned the value of relationships when I learned that I lost things that I cared about Mm. or people that I cared about. You know what I'm saying to you? So let's say, for example, one of my first serious relationships was with my son's mum. We met when I was just turning 18. Jeez. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Oh, he's a baby. We was just turning 18. I was just turning 18. She was 17. Do you know what I mean? We was together for a couple of years. I had my son. 19. No, I was 20. He's, he turned, well, he was born a couple of days before I turned 20. 20. You see what I'm saying to you? So I was a pity. But then how did then you learn how to be a father then? Experience. And do you not feel that you should have had a condom on? Yeah. Because... And there was times I wore condoms and there was times I didn't. Like grown-ass men do. <laughs> Because my point is, if you don't know how to be a father or you're not grown yourself, how are you bringing a child into this world? At 19, and you've never been taught anything by anyone, Mm. who's there to tell you, yo, buddy, you need to be more... Bear in mind, I've been in a relationship with this girl for... It's not like I was some girl I found off the street or whatever. From Mm. that time to the couple of years, we was together. Like, every single day, we was rolling. Do you know what I mean? We was tight like that. Then we had a child. Yes, it was crazy early. Mm. But... I learned what I learned, or I knew I was passionate about being a good dad from so young, from not having mine. I knew that all the things that I missed out on within my own, I was never going to make my youth miss. Yeah. Another thing that I always had from early was I didn't want the embarrassment of people being able to say to you, you know, look after your picnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Blah, 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 blah. That can't happen. Okay, so then my question is, what does looking after your picnic look like? For, for, for me, as a woman, I have mm-hmm. expectations of the father of my children Mm -hmm. to not only provide the maintenance because according to the the law child maintenance for a father that has maybe more than one child is 28 pounds a week you and i know that 28 pounds a week cannot buy anything so do not think that men should accept that they should do more what's your view of what a responsible father looks like I think, to honest with you, I think someone, again, this ain't got nothing to do with the mother and father. I'm talking about the child and him being there for the child. Yeah. In regards to, I'm not going to put a figure on it, but as a man, I think you knowing that your child is being fed, mm. cleaned, mm. educated every single day is your job every day. That's it for me. My thing, I'm not putting figures on it and oh yeah, she's no, supposed to No, 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 but you said amount. knowing. Is that knowing no, 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 that the mum is going to do no, all of those things? No. Or are no, no, you no, doing those no, no, things? No, no, my thing is this. My mum gets sick. Mum might have to, you are supposed to know what where mum's at. Is mum okay? And whichever else it is. So you're supposed to be having that line of communication, a level of amicability with that person mm. in order to make sure that your child is never missing out on. I'm not saying that, oh, yeah, you're supposed to do this week and I'm supposed to do between us. My job is, me and my son's mum don't have a thing where every Friday I send a blah, blah, blah. We just make sure that regardless, 24-7, my youth don't miss out for nothing. She has a relationship because she's getting on with what she's getting on. I'm I'm living my life. Our main concern is that boy does not miss out. If her work money don't come on a day that blah, 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 and she wasn't due something from me, what am I going to do? What, not give it to her because... It didn't come on. (laughs) Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah. My son's mum's a person who don't play with her money. She don't rap. Like, she's always got her piece. When she's telling me she's broke, she's got money. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't black women now. Let me tell you something. She's got money. But in the same breath, push comes to shove. If my son phones me and says, Dad, I'm just outside of McDonald's. Can you send me an extra five, six, seven, boom, boom, boom. Should be asking him about his mother. This is my you. It was the two of us. So you don't say, got to ask your mum? No, never. If my son phones me, I know that his mum's already told him I for ask your dad. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I already know. For me, again, I, I take great pride 
in knowing that my son feels like he's got his dad there for anything. Yeah. Push comes to shove. He's going for a transition now. My son's 13. Oh. You see know what I'm saying? He's going for a transition now. My son's six foot with size Jeez. 11. Like, he's he's not the uh, little backpack kid. <laughs> yeah. He's bigger than most men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know that I'm going for a transition with my son and I need to be there from our uh, rocking it doesn't matter but how are you going to be there if you don't live in the household with him if you work full time if you are doing your thing like you working full time let me explain something to you you will make time for what you want to make time for there will forever be 24 hours in a day 7 days in a week my thing is this if I have a child now or have another one or have an additional job my son will always be my responsibility mm. before anything else there's not enough money in this world that's going to take me away from my view yeah. there's nothing there's nothing and so I mean I know you can't speak for but can you speak about those that don't do what's your views on those men do you know what? that don't do that do you know what There's I've got mixed views on it because I've come from a place of seeing men try and not be able to mm. I've also been in a position at times way, way, way back where I wasn't able to access my son okay. or whatever else it is because of certain situations me and his mum were going through or whatever else it is at the time and understanding my frustration and anger and even more so at people pointing a finger and saying certain things about me, not understanding the full picture. Right. Because that happens a lot. What, that you're judged? You're judged on art, waste, man. She might be cussing to her bridgens about this. People know each other and whatever else it is. So she might be cussing, ah, oh, he ain't seen this, you in book, 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 bruh, 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 it's going on. Not understanding, there was a situation, cut a very long story short, there was a situation where I had bill conditions that I couldn't speak, or I couldn't see my son or speak to him via a third party, which means I can't ask his mum how he's doing. I can't ask my brother to ask his mum Four months, nothing. I lived with my son every day. Like, wake up to him. For, I've got two months, six months, I've got it marked in my phone how many months. I was there, there, like mm. that. So for when four months goes and I can't see or speak to my you, and people are judging and blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying this is everybody. Yeah. But there's a lot of situations where people actually, men, not even say people, men actually try to be parents Yes, they've made mistakes beforehand, maybe in early stages. I'm not condoning anybody putting a hand on or whatever else it is. That man's a danger to you and your child. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. safe. But there's been times and many a time I've seen men try to be there. Like really, really try putting their best foot forward after knowing they fucked up and come and spoke to me like I'm some sort of therapist. Can you imagine how difficult it is though for a woman that has been hurt to... Because you know what? Sometimes it's not even about you seeing the child because you're seeing me too, especially if the age of the child is, you know, young enough. Mm. I have to see you and I have to be reminded every single time of what you did to me. And sometimes what you're adding to value to the child's life is not even enough to, for enough, me to go through that every two weeks. Measure. And is that enough for you? Are we talking about the child here or are we talking about you? Because again, like what you just said to me, for me to go through and blah, 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 we've then forgot about little miss or little mister. We're not talking about <laughs> yeah. you again. We're talking about fatherhood, not yeah. relationship, fatherhood. Yeah. Is that enough for me to have to deal with what? Because he wants to be there for his you. Because you're not happy with what happened with you two. Yeah. You're now going to think, oh, wait up, hold on. Because of what he put me through back then, yeah. you should have this amount of. Yeah. Okay. When you put it like that. Okay. So let's go then to the fathers that don't do. What's your view on them? <sighs> Fire and brimstone. That's all I can say. Really? Say. Okay. So if you've got a friend, the man them, that I've you know. I've got friends that don't do. I've Ooh, got bridges. And do you do. tell them? No, I tell man. I don't rate really, because I've got, you know what the fucked up thing is? I've got bridges that do for this one, but don't do for that one. And bro, and I don't, they're fucked. You're fucked. But how can you talk? You've only got one. You don't know what it's like to have to deal with that one and that one or not that one. So I you're did, talking from a position of what? I'm talking from a position of knowing what it takes in order to look after a child. Am I ready to do that twice, three times, four times over? No, I'm not. So I'm going to stick with the one child I have. <laughs> the fuck am I? What, what am I on? What, oh, what? Yeah, I hear that still breed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my hairline's going back. What? For what? Who? What yeah. for? If you decided the right call, sometimes you you may you have situations where you end up having another child or whatever else it yeah. is. You've got to crack on. You can't choose to not look after that. Mm. So sometimes they choose because the mum is easier to deal with with that. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the mum's not so easy to deal with. Mm-hmm. And I think it's fucked, to be honest with you. Like I said, I've come from a position where I found my brothers recently. Jeez. Like, I'm 30 odd years old. I'm telling you, I found my brothers recently. I found my niece. I found a brother and a niece that lived less than two miles away from me my entire life. Dad's kids? Yeah. Same age as me. Did you say a brother? Same age. So dad was doing his thing. Same age as me. I interviewed him like a couple of weeks ago. How did that feel? Listen, the first time we laid eyes on each other, we was 14 years old. I broke my leg. Mm. I was in hospital. Yeah? Funny, it just so happened that my dad was at my mum's house at the time. The school phoned. Uh, they take him to the hospital. He broke his foot. Da, 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 da. So my dad drove to, to the hospital. Yeah? My dad came there. I was with my bridge and Carlos. Never forget. Went went for x-ray and came back out. My dad was sitting in the reception area. Mm. He's sitting in the reception area. Him, some black woman, this you, and whoever else was in the reception. So I rolled over there. Hey, dad. Yeah, boom. Foot's broken. And the woman whipped her head and she went, what? Dad. You're not going to introduce him to his brother then? <gasps> so she knew about you? Well, she didn't know either because I've just ruled out. Imagine this. So I've interviewed my brother 17, 18 years later on my show a couple of weeks ago. I said to him, so wow, what was your aversion events? Because he was sitting there with you when I was getting the thing. So what did he tell you he was there for? He told them that he was driving through Whitechapel and saw this boy on the floor that really injured himself and looked like he was in excruciating pain. So he picked him up and put him in the car and drove him to the hospital. Boom, 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 boom. Shut your shit. If I'm lying to you. <laughs> Shut your... Hey, that's how men I found are that. absolutely that's how, that's ridiculous. That's how I found my brother. That's how I found my brother. Next time I found my niece that lives around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> that lives around the corner. I'd done a video, a music video... And some girl that was modelling my music video, never met her before, she just came to the video and disappeared again from some agency, messaged me one day on Facebook and goes to me, ah, one of my friends is saying that you're her uncle. I'm like, bruv, uncle, what are you talking about? Pack it in. What are you about? So we just started back and forth, uh, who's your dad? I don't know your dad, because this is, again, other brothers that I don't know about. Mercy. You know what I'm saying to you? So, all right, cool, who's your granddad? Then she said, my dad's name. I'm like... Serious? So, event... That's how I've ended up finding her. Then to find out she's the exact same age as me, near enough lived at the top of the road. So can imagine. So I can... you could have been with your niece. What a it... nastiness. But this is what I'm saying to you. But this is what I'm talking about. The men that don't do and just decide they're going to look after this one, be in this one's life. Because that same father of mine has been, I know he's been there for certain other kids. I won't call the other names, but. And how does that make you feel? Do you know what? For time, for, as a youth, it just gives you the resentment. It gives you the back and forth. Oh, fuck it. Oh, it hurts. Oh, fuck it. It hurts. It hurts. Now, where I'm at 30 odd years old, I'll be honest with you, if I'm being brutally honest, I was at a stage of wanting answers, but my dad's not one now. So he's like, he's got dementia, whatever else it is. I know that I may not get the answers I'm looking for. Now I'm thinking, hug them and let them go. Like that. I'm good. I'm easy. Yeah, because you've got to give yourself closure now, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I think yeah. that's, and that's the, the battle. I mean, my mom had dementia, so I get, I get totally mm. where, where he is. And, Sometimes they don't even have the answers, even if they did have what of sound mind mm-hmm. to give you. Because some of the actions and some of the behaviours were because they were who they were at that time and not necessarily who they may have been now. This you is know the what thing, I mean? and this is what I'm saying about fathers that don't do, you create needs. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Would you say you're damaged? I'm fucked. <laughs> oh my <laughs> no, days. No, serious. I'm, but I'm serious, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. If you're fucked and then you meet a girl... Like, no, 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 no. When I say I'm oh. fucked here, no, no, no. When I'm saying I'm fucked here, don't get it twisted. I'm not fucked like that. But when I say to you, in regards to dealing with trauma and all of these things or whatever else, like I said, trauma and mental health and all of these things are not things that you see on people's faces. Remember, I'm supposed to be, what? What was we talking about in the beginning? Strong. Uh, yeah. So yeah. no, no, no yeah. weakness and whatever else it is, regardless of never having a father in my life, never, uh, regardless of watching him raise other people, mm. meeting, do you know what I'm saying to you? All of these different things that you deal with emotionally or whatever else it is, I'm trained or, or I'm supposed to be strong and show no weakness or whatever else it is. So regardless of all of these things that I've been through, I'm supposed to meet a woman and just crack on you and are. not show any form of trauma, yeah. stress, upset. But what I find tears. is that some of the men can't can't face their trauma. Like, have you been to therapy? Yeah. 
I have. The reason, I'll tell you the reason why I went to therapy. The reason why I went to therapy wasn't because I felt like I was going through a breakdown, so I felt like I needed to go and see a therapist. Long story, I got stabbed a bag of times, yeah? Wow. Like, I got stabbed 24 times in one sitting, one situation. Boop, 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 boop. You stabbed me up, mad thing. 24 times, yeah? Can't listen. We're not going to get into that story today. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have that another time. Okay. So, cool. I got stabbed, yeah? 24 times. And where it was... One of my brethren's were telling me about, um, what is it called? There was a name for it, but basically you could get compensation. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was yeah, some yeah, sort yeah, of compensation yeah. you could get for it. You yeah. get me? So it was a government thing or whatever. So they're saying to me, all right, boom, boom, boom. And then when I started filling in the form, they said to me, I had to go to, um, victim support meetings. Yeah. yeah? So I'm like, all right, fuck it. They're saying to me, all right, cool. One day I sat down, I was sat down with the woman. They're saying to me, all right, cool. Once you fill out your forms or whatever, we'll send it off to the medical. They'll bring it back. So once the medical came back, they said, for each stab wound, they would give me like 800 and something pound. 800 by 24, I'm in my head. Yes. Yo, that's I'm a whip. good. That's I'm good right now. Yeah. You get me? So I'm saying, I'm like, cool. But you see, when I sat down and I had to do the sessions with the woman, like in order to keep up, keep yeah. face or whatever else it is. You see, when I'm actually talking to the woman, but it was a, it was a, not a young black woman, but a woman in her, like her mid forties. I'm talking to her about what actually happened and I'm, Think, remember, it actually happened to me. It's not like I'm doing, mm-hmm. pulling off some scam or I had a car accident. Yeah. I've been stabbed up. I'm still here with my, my wounds and I'm itched up. So when I'm talking to the woman, I'm having the flashbacks of what happened. And certain times, a little tear of anger's rolling on my face. This woman's bawling. Mm-hmm. Remember, this is the woman that she's giving me. F- but because it's a black woman, I felt like there was some sort of, like we could resonate somehow. Yeah. And I felt like she I was talking it. to somebody who got it. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. to you? Wasn't judging me or whatever else it is. That connection there made me continue to go okay. and speak to the woman. The woman, the minute that she changed and she left and went somewhere else, I stopped going. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you wanted someone you I needed have somebody I thought with. like I had that with. Do you right. see what I'm saying? So that was the only reason why I ended up going to therapy. But the, the challenge first place. is, like, there are a lot of men that need therapy. And there are a lot of black men that need therapy. Do and I think before that, sorry to cut, yeah. do I think before therapy is, I think the man needs to start being honest, firstly. And I'm not just talking about in relationships and whatever yeah, else it is. with themselves. With themselves, yeah. You see when, like I said, there's nine times out of ten, if a man's going through a heartbreak, there's maybe one bridging he might have that he could turn and talk to about how he's really feeling about mm. that woman. He might be doing proper pissed off and upset, you know what I'm saying? He's got 20, 30 bridges that he chats to all the time. Mm. But you can't chat to these men about it because he's supposed to be what? Strong. Strong. <laughs> Do you see what I'm yeah. saying to you? But he may have that one bridge in. Man, them need an outlet. Mm. And it doesn't necessarily have to be therapy to start with. Therapy is a good place. But being honest, yeah, about who your bridges are to you. Mm. Like, this man them around you for the sake of man them being around you. Alright, cool. What does this person actually act? When me and him link, how honest can I be with him? About me, about who I am. You know them ones there? Can I be real with him? Or do we have to talk about what happened outside and yeah, what I'm yeah, going yeah, out there? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Or can I talk to him really about the fact that, yo, my baby mum is stressing me mm. at the fact that she needs X amount and I don't have it, X amount. Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like those real conversations. Everyone could talk about the baby mother headache and whatever. Oh, blah, my baby mother is stressing me. And that's as far as it goes. <laughs> yeah. so you're a like, this money thing. Oh, I hear you still. <laughs> then the conversation's finished. And, no, where's the therapy? And... The therapy then goes to bun in a zoo. This is what I'm saying to you. Because that's another thing that I find that our black men are cannabis smokers for escape. They get into it because they can't deal and they can't face up to the struggles, the realness. I'm not saying that women don't smoke, but a lot of them find their therapy in a spliff. Yeah, well, they, no, they think they're finding therapy in a split, but the problem's still there after you bun it. After you dab that zoo out and do that, <laughs> the, the, the problem's still there. So for the moment, do you see what I'm saying? It makes no difference. My whole thing is... You see this 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 therapy thing. I get it, but this therapy here first. Yeah. The therapy starts with. But then you. some of them think it's too like soft. Like for example, that, again, for me doing my work, I've got to do some journaling. I need to be grounded. I need to do some meditation. Mm-hmm. I need to listen to some positive shit. Mm-hmm. How much man them are gonna do that? Because that's the work, you know. My, my thing is this: it, 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 some men need it. Some of us, some, do that. No, no, some, some need it, some don't. To be honest with you, I'm not a person who listens to meditation music as much as I can appreciate it and all of these things. I'm not a person who sits down and listens to these So how things. do you do the work? My outlet is me opening my mouth and talking about, yo, this is getting under my skin. Bear in mind, I dealt with epilepsy for nine and a half years and wow. I was stress-related epilepsy. I weren't diagnosed with these things. This, I've, yeah. When I say to you, I've done the roller coaster, like, for real, for real. Like, like I'm not, it's not a job. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, 
kidnapping, stabbed. I've been through all of these things. Yeah, yeah. Epilepsy, having a child early, all of these things I've lived, I've seen it. Yeah. This is not me telling you about oh, what I think should happen in life because but <laughs> I've seen these yeah, things yeah, yeah. and I've seen it via my brethren yeah. and whatever else it is. A lot of my older friends had children after me. Mm. You know what I'm t- yeah, they've got four kids now. Yeah. But my my first you is what I'm saying to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got four youths, blood. My oldest one's nine. All right, but I've been doing fatherhood way before you, bro. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying to you from a younger age. Mm-hmm. So I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But you decided to go and multiply. And yeah, 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 yeah. When you didn't it's even a, have one a... and two under control. Do you know what I'm saying <laughs> to you? I, I don't four. really want to hear it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for me, like I said, this this being honest with you thing yeah. is hard, the though. biggest. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. This is the problem. This is what I'm saying. This being up. What is it harder to do? Be you or be somebody else? Sometimes Please tell me. facing the truth is hard work because it opens things that you can't manage. Let me tell you you something, cannot though. manage the emotion that the truth brings sometimes. All right. That I am not enough or I am, uh, I wasn't loved by my dad or I wasn't loved by my mum mm-hmm. or I'm, you know, whatever it is. It's you know sometimes what? difficult. It is very difficult. But do you know what acceptance does? It allows you to move on. You see, we're living that lie and putting this facade up for the entire time or whatever else it is. Ain't nobody give a shit about that bar you, you know? Yeah. When you see when you go to your bed knowing that you've been a fraud <laughs> your whole fucking time. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. It's nobody cares when they go to their bed thinking yeah. about how oh, your dad and oh, I'm doing hard and later it's low. <laughs> Yeah. But you're a dickhead because really and truly when you go to your you're crying over the same yeah. girl blood. So what are you talking about? Yeah. The Versace means nothing to me if you're going home to cry, bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying to you? Open up your mouth and you see when you talk to me about the girl and then you cry. Now, I'm not even going to tell you you're a pussy or a punk. I'm definitely going to rub you and show you say, my brother, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Because you've been real with you. I don't give a fuck about your facade. Do you know what? Do you know why I know you're, you talk since? I remember I, I have insomnia, right? So I was up one night and it was about four o'clock in the morning and you had your live on. Uh huh. You was balling. I, I t- listen. Let me tell you something. You were balling on the live, and I was like, "Oh my days!" Let me tell you, oh like- you something. I've been through mental health here mm. in ways where people don't understand. I, I, I never imagined it. I always imagined mental health to be someone walking down the road, hang on, doing the crazy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, when you're in your yard at three o'clock in the morning and you're hearing, "Raw, I'm not supposed to be crazy, but I feel crazy," and this is just going around yeah. over and over and over and over. I'm saying to myself, do you know who the fuck I am? Do you know these things I've done? This, 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 that. Mm, mm. But there's no, I'm not talking to nobody about what is going on in my world. Yeah. You see, when you get to a place of, you see 2020 for me, massive year, massive, massive. I'm so grateful for 2020. It's unbelievable. Mm. People probably think I'm mad saying it. No, but but 2020 was crazy for me because it gave me so much realisation about what I'm capable of and who the fuck I am. A beggar man told me something about crying, see if I don't break your entire nose the same day. <laughs> I swear to God, like, you see me. Like I said, I can't cry on these things, but people don't. I'm a trained martial arts fighter. I do it. I've been doing it for four and a half years. I fight. Like, I do it. Mm. I, what, so, uh, schedules, crying, I bet you I broke you up before you finish your <laughs> sentence. I bet you. So what does that mean? What, me expressing my emotions means what? Yeah. Whoa. Why did you feel it necessary to turn on your life, though? No, do is you know it, what it is was? it? Because some people would say, "Oh, he's just begging emotion. He's just begging girls to feel sorry for him or whatever." Let me tell you something. You, something. you see them people that do that, that typing thing. And would you stand up in front of me and say, "I'm a person who was born in the real world. I didn't come from a social media era. I built the name and all of these things I have off of the real world." If you can stand up in my face and say to me, oh, "I bet he was begging," then I rape you. But if you're going to do it from behind your screen, and I know that you would never say it in front of me, why am I worried about you? <laughs> why am I worried about you? That's my realness. True story. That's I don't care. You see the people that gravitate towards my life or watch my lives and whatever else it is. People that will be there will be there. And people that will fuck off will fuck off. I don't care. I really don't care. If you stand up in front of me and say what's on your mind, I rate you so much more. Yeah. If you wouldn't, you just break, you're gonna break their nose anyway. <laughs> what are we doing here? People love this social media stuff too they much. Love it, I'm, you know? I'm a, listen, let me tell you something. Men cry, women cry, dog cry, baby cry, <laughs> granny cry. Like, so what does it mean? Gun man cry too. I'm telling you this for a fact. What, yeah. Why is man going like they're invincible in this world? Yeah. See this Don that stands up in the rave with his D squared and his Balenciaga. Yeah. He cries too, fam. <laughs> I tell you that for free. Yeah, I tell does. you that for free. You see, when his girl left him and he weren't ready for her to leave, he was upset. He couldn't trap for days. No! 
I'm, I'm a lion. <laughs> oh man, listen, that's what men go through. I'm I don't telling you this. Know. Like, I just can't. I can't. You know what? I can't even visualize it. I men break down when if a, if a man's in love, yeah. Let me give you some rules. You see, if a man's in love with a woman and it breaks down before he's ready to detach himself from the situation, because he might fuck up, yeah, and yeah. then all of a sudden he's trying to scrape it back because she's yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. leave. You see, if it breaks off and she's gone before he's ready to break off, his world crumbles. I'm look at me. I'm telling you, I've been there. I've been him. <laughs> yeah, that shit is real. Man, them don't function properly. It fucks up. You're not even chatting to the man then properly. Yo, my buddy, you good? Yeah. No, I was like, hungry. Like, you're, you're not telling me. Like, you shut down. You shut down. This what do women like, do, though? To me. This, I'm telling you the realness. A woman breaks down now. She's had a mad breakup or whatever else it is. She's going to... I'm on every meme, you know. Wipe down this. Then she's posting memes while she's dealing with the Honestly, youth. Then she's gone to work. I'm going to get my sage. I've she's done everything. all of these things. The yard is 10 times cleaner now <laughs> yes. than it ever was at a time I when mean, she was broken. I'm let lying. me tell you something. Yeah, my ex said to me, rah, you did up the house since I've gone. Yes, yeah. I did. See me, I painted every wall, every bed shade. How did I know this, every- Camilla? How did I know this, Camilla? <laughs> every I'm telling you. Change. It oh, happens because women are able to. You know what it is? Women are a lot more tapped into their emotions. Not even tapped in. But uh, women deal with their emotions on a lot more frequent basis mm-hmm. than men do. So you see when it comes to emotions breaking down or whatever else is the recovery speed is so much quicker yeah. they know how to deal with these things not to say that it's not hurting while you're dealing with it it's mm. definitely burning you because while you're washing the dishes you still might be burning but you see when you spin around to deal with the you you don't yeah, even realise she, she don't was crying know. Know. she don't even know do you see what I'm saying to you she don't even know you ask my man to deal with the you while he's having that heartbreak and see if he don't bark after you and tell you about your mother, your father, your cat, your dog and everything else, bruv. And you don't even know why my man's moving like this. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying to you? But he can't express it because he's supposed to be what? Strong. All right, then. Yeah. All right, all right. So my first statement, I might have to change it a little bit. Yeah, thank because you. I'm getting that it's a lot of external pressure. Whereas as, yeah, as a woman, I don't have that external pressure. If I want bar like bar, you know, and my friends tell me, cry some more. Yeah, no, they cry, always cry, tell me, oh, you don't cry enough. Like, let it out. And I'm like, I'm all right. I'm good. No, it's not normal. You need to cry. I don't feel like I need how to. How often but do men, hit, how often was the last time you heard a man say to him, no, but you need to cry still? I don't think mm. ever. Exactly. I've never is heard it that. essential for men to release those emotions though? It is because they're set, they're pent up the same way, right, and they they must be overwhelming and they must be um, scary to to deal with. Uh, you know, in the crux of the four o'clock in the morning when you feel like rah, it's a bit much, it's a bit on top, and I don't know what to do with, do with it, and I can't like I could call any of my girls at four o'clock in the morning, and they'll pick up, and it won't even, and I just have to go. And it's th- she's there. She's there. Pajamas on, everything. She's, she's there. got extra Tesla, pajamas for yeah, you. Everything, everything. pattern. That's everything. what I'm saying to you. I just, it's okay. That was it. I've got, I get the girls like pre Valentine's Day now. My girls. Hmm. I woke up in the morning. There was cards. There was flowers. There was a delivery man at my door with breakfast. And they're like, okay, we know that, you know, you came from a relationship. That relationship was years ago. But they know that these times must be pretty difficult for me. You know what I mean? So they just patted me up. So I didn't feel that that loneliness and that loss. But maybe you feel the same way. But right, your man name is, ain't doing nothing for you. If there was 20 men in this room right now, and I asked all 20 of these men, if they'd been for a heartbreak, well, they had been a heart. I'm pretty sure everyone would have said yes. And then asked them, which one of your brethrens came and picked you up and said, fuck it, we're going for a rah, 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 because you was going for a heartbreak. I bet you, out of those 20 men, not one of them would have raised their hands to say their brethren. Why though? It. Why? Because you, okay, you because, know that needs to happen. Let's go back to what was the first statement? Because men are supposed to be what? Yeah, strong. All right then, so if I come and tell you that I'm... <laughs> <laughs> what? But, but no, 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 you know better. So now you're man name. Now you know. I can. Mr. Dirty knows better yeah, now. Yeah. And so Mr. Clean comes to you and says, mm-hmm. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna say, come let me pick you up now? No, I'm coming chat. We're gonna have the talk. We're gonna have the talk, bro. We're gonna have the talk because I've been him. I've been him. The problem is 99% of men won't admit that they've been him. That's the problem. Or is it that they don't love with their whole heart? No, because I think even you, that. you have to be in that position of Balin to actually be able to love and I don't know if any Let me most men to have you. the capacity I'm to gonna love I'm going to say to you I'm going to say to you I'm just going to just throw it out there I think any man who's over the age of 30 has definitely been in love with a woman at some point 
I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna say it. Regardless of how he treated her or whatever else it is. He loved her. He loved her at some point. Mm-hmm. Some point. And he's dealing with the loss of it. Do you see mm-hmm. what I'm saying to you? So regardless, at some point he had to deal with some form of heartbreak, regardless if it's his fault, her fault, or whatever else it is, the fact is there is heartbreak here. Mm-hmm. A, if the problem is his, then he's got even more so to deal with to make sure that he doesn't make these mistakes again, or whichever else it is. If it isn't his fault, he has to now look at the fact that he doesn't come across somebody else again who makes him feel this way again. And Man I think, have to deal with these things and then you speak to about yeah, it. Yeah, and they don't, they don't deal with their stuff. So, for example, I was thinking about men that have female children, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I know you don't have a female child, but mm-hmm. that's a whole different kettle of fish as well. Of, like yeah. you have to love that girl differently to your son, and if you don't know how to love e- your woman, how are you learning to love your girl child? Like, is it- yeah, I, f- I think it definitely plays a part. Loving a girl child and raising a girl child is going to be completely different for me. Me personally, I was nowhere near ready to have a girl child with my son. Like when it was time for me to find out, I prayed on all everything. <laughs> Please give me a boy child. I I'm not ready to have a girl because why do you think so? I knew I still did not... I, I, st- I was still learning how to treat women. Mm. I knew at 19, 20, 21, 22, But didn't you learn those fundamentals from loving your mum? No. Why? I know how to love my mum. <laughs> you can know how to love your mum. My mum can't teach me how to love another woman or teach me how to... D- Let me explain something to you. Mum can tell me, yes, you're supposed to do this and make sure that she's nurtured. And But mm. this is based on her... On her, what she's wanted. I was an individual. As a, as an individual. Yeah. And it's going to be general across most boards, and whichever. She's not going to tell you nothing outlandish, but you're supposed to treat her like this and mm. blah blah blah, and whichever else is and blah blah. I love your woman and blah blah blah. You've not taught me anything about what I'm supposed to expect um, from this woman. Oh yes, you just make sure that she's tidy and make sure she can cook and wear it the basics anyway yeah. that a man's supposed to yeah, be looking yeah, yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. but teach me how to receive this love too yeah. do you see what I'm saying to you so you're not taught how to receive love no by who unless you have both parents or someone who's going to sit you down and teach you about the experiences because my thing is this again how would my mum teach me how would she teach me to deal with heartbreak she's never been a man she's never been able to she's never had to cage in her emotions for years upon years upon years upon years upon years how can she teach me how to deal with that who did she? Who did she expect me to come and speak to about her? I can't come and speak to you. But what about uncles? I can. Hmm? What about uncles or family friends, like male family friends? Do if they you have them? Up? If you have them like that, and you see those people, have to have you got to see those people like that. Mm. You see what I'm saying to you? Like for example, most I would say most boys have some sort of not idol. I won't use the word as strong something as strong as an idol, but someone that they look up to as a male yeah. figure. You know what I mean? A lot of the time in this day and age is somebody outside who's got the most money or the most drip or whatever else it is. You tend to realise that that kid wants to act like and pushes mm. to be like and aspires to be like that person. If that person is in the household and it's a father figure or whatever else it is, you tend to find that, like my little brother, for example, acts a lot like my older brother because he, I, I would imagine he wanted to be like my older brother. My brother's a prim and proper person, speaks very well duh, 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 and carries himself a certain way. So from young, I could see my brother following in his footsteps rather than mine. We're the closest in age. Mm. But I know he didn't want to be like me. Thank Why God. do you think he didn't want to be like you? Because I'm the rock bad one. I'm the, honest to God, I'm the Why, bad why one. are you the rock bad one though? Because again, like I said, I, I'm still you learning. you can choose. Your brothers chose. You chose this. No, no. Listen, I grew a little bit differently from my brothers. Remember, there's quite a, a, a fair age gap between us, yeah? So there's eight years between me and the brother that's above me. We didn't necessarily grow in the same house, okay. or whichever else it is. So as much as, I'd say, for example, I was raised with my auntie, mm. yeah? My auntie was very soft with me. Oh, come on, dear laces, you don't worry about it, it's all right. Yeah. My mum, not for no reason, yeah. but she was on throwing hands if you slip. <laughs> <laughs> like, my mum was on that. I didn't move to my mum, to live with my mum until I was eight years old. Mm. So for the first eight years of my life, well, I've already got... A certain so this is where I got the balance from or whatever else it is but again along this way here who's teaching me anything about treating women and then when you have an aunt that's quite uh, let's say Molly Coddling mm-hmm. do you think that's the type of woman that you then go for because that's your foundation of, um, of being to here. an extent to an extent I feel like I go for a cross between the two because again I feel like I want somebody who is extremely affectionate mm-hmm. but in the same breath stands up for her shit and is not on no bullshit 
and not going to have no woman in Sainsbury's shouting after and she's going to go into a ball and cry and come back and tell me that some woman was shouting at her in Sainsbury's <laughs> because you're a dickhead like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Stand up for your thing, but at what? the same time, I expect you to have that. So what do you bring to relationships as a man? Um, do you know what? I would like to say a level of security is extremely important. And when I say security, I don't necessarily necessarily mean in regards to but in regards to your woman constantly feeling assured, not even reassured, but okay, assured. Okay, let's talk about that. Stick a pin. You're freelance. What security are you giving me? What do you mean freelance? Because your freelance is based on your jobs, right? What do you, you're creative. You're okay. a creative. I'm a creative, yeah. So it depends on whether you've got a book in, or whether you've got a, a film going on or whatever. Mm-hmm. Is that financial security? Financial security? Yeah. No, well, again, depending on where I'm at in my career, would depend on my financial status, isn't it? So say, for example, if I'm busy, busy, busy like that and I'm making money from these jobs or whichever else it is, then it's not really an issue. But you just said you're giving a woman security. No, when I said, like I said, you didn't even let me finish, but you went, oh, my bad. she went straight away. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. this is the, see what I'm saying? So when I said, in Don't regards to... Women do that. <laughs> You said it for me. Um, no, but I'm just talking about feeling assured. And again, this is the problem that I think is. I said, making my woman feel assured. I know, and I The heard. first thing she said was finance. <laughs> I know. It's mad. Do you understand why men feel super pressured Yeah. in 2021? I didn't say I anything I else know. about making sure that you feel loved. I didn't I say anything. I didn't say nothing. You didn't give me the chance to speak. You automatically went, my job, no, 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 finance. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying to you? I think you. Do you understand I'll take why? Do you understand why you. a lot of my would probably feel, even just watching and thinking, oh, dude, this is what girls really want in 2021. I haven't said anything. And you automatically went and the money right. But I want the other things too. I, I want to feel This is the problem. Want you want these. them too. You don't want them first. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm quiet for a moment. Um, I think we should take a break. <laughs> <laughs> you want them too. This is the problem. You don't want I them do. first. Do you if know the what foundation it is well? of it, this is my thing. If you build it on, listen, my man makes me feel, mm, 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 I love it. Mm. He make when I speak, when he talks, when we. Do you blah, know what blah, it is? Because life is scary. And then after because that, I can't go with mm, 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 to listen. EDF. I can't go mm, mm, to Sky. I need, I need, isn't it? Sweetie, sweetie, make sure that you have it first. Because you see this big 20. Me have it. Well, all right, so what's your problem then? Because I want to know what you're bringing. Listen, you can't all, it's not why all does about it have mine? to be finance? Why does this have to be the conversation first and foremost? What are you bringing? No, I, you ain't finished. What, no, what, what are you bringing? <laughs> you ain't, I ain't finished. You said security, what's next? What are you bringing? I, because like I said, my, my job is, I know first and foremost, me making sure that you're loved mm. and taken care of and to taken care of again. Me paying your bills is not making sure that you're taken care of. This is me now being your father and whoever else it is that you want me to be for you. You're supposed to take care of you first and foremost. Your happiness is your job. Then I'm supposed to add to that. You see what I'm saying to you? Yes. I'm supposed to add to it. So why am I... Oh, so all of a sudden now I'm here. All right, cool. I've already got my bills to pay. But because I like you, I've got to now look at your EDF bill as well. (laughs) Real girl, hold on. You're you said you have it already, <laughs> but didn't you say you've already got your life pattern like that? I, listen, if I I, listen, cool. When we build our union and we move into our house and we do these things together as a unit, then we can start talking about EDF and whatever else it is. But why you got your little two bedroom over <laughs> yasa and I've just reached the past year and a half? Don't show me your phone bill because if I show you mine, then it's gonna be tense. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying to you? What do you bring to the table? I'm gonna all ask right, you. Now. Okay. What do you bring? I think it'll be hot. <laughs> I bring compassion. Mm -hmm. I bring understanding. Mm -hmm. I bring commitment. Mm -hmm. I bring motivation. Mm -hmm. I bring love. Mm -hmm. I bring determination. Mm -hmm. I bring stability. Okay. Stability in what aspect? Financial. Because you ain't got to worry about me. Because I am financially stable. Okay, so stability for who? Because I'm not for you. Like, so I'm, you don't no, need no, no. to worry about me. So you know that she's good, whether I make a, a left or a right. That's good. But my thing is this: that doesn't give me stability if I'm not watching your pocket. No, anyway. you, no but you're gonna want to know if I'm good, no? And if you know that I ain't got money, then you're more worried. You're worried about you and you're worried about me. But you ain't got to worry about me. No, my thing is this: if I've picked you up and I can see that you've never ever got money, then we potentially need to look at what you're doing. <laughs> Is that's that- what I want to say the situation is because again if you pick me up and you come to find that I've never ever got money then you may potentially want to think mm, what is he doing 
Yeah. Or maybe even point that person in the direction of, because imagine this, imagine you come across this guy, your money is your money, my money is mine. We're mm. not doing EDF and all these things just yet. Mm. But I make you feel boom, bam, 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 mm. excitement. I'm doing the little bits and treating you here and there, the odd meal and whatever else. It is. I might come and cook for you, you might come, whatever. All of it's great. But you come to find I ain't really great at like that. Mm. You know what it is? But I've the been security is bro- gone now because I, know. I can't do EDF. Do you know what it is? I think I'm coming from a point of, I've had that man. I've had the man that has relied on me financially. That's and the it's, problem. And it's, I never said anything about relying on you. I just hard. said, no, no. It's I scary. never said anything about relying on you. I just said that I don't have it like that. I'm not relying on you. I'm mm. still doing what I'm supposed to do as a man for me. Mm. You don't even know that I ain't got like that. I'm just breaking it down to you because I'm being real about my life mm. and I want you. You know, like that. So I'm telling you what the rule this is. Yeah. But I'm still doing everything that made you feel, but, 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 with my little, little shillings. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is, we can't go no further because you want EDF money. <laughs> You need the track, brother. I'm gone. I don't want <laughs> you. You want him. 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 I don't want him. I'm telling you, that's what you're looking for, babe. I'm not looking for him because I'm not a girl. I've never had a Balenciaga nothing. I've never had a Gucci nothing. I've never had a Labu on nothing. That's not First me. That's thing not Cam, innit? You said to me, sweetie, was that you wanted to be sure well? Let's your go pocket. back to let's go back to finances, yeah? Mm. I witnessed my mum and dad that was there. That, mm. And I think that's where, especially for me, finances come in. That was there making and breaking of them you know mm. my mum was the earner my dad was a contractor and I noticed that the level of respect that my mum had for my dad because he couldn't be the head of the household mm-hmm. he wouldn't he would drink out his money he just wouldn't and it and for me I think I've learned that mm-hmm. I have learned that looking after a household does does mean finances oh, of course it, it does, does mean because it but gives me it security means, it makes think... me feel that you've got me no I, I understand that but what I don't want one, money one to buy. I'm missing, what I'm missing is, I'm just trying to think. The problem that I find, yeah, and I just maybe it's just me, and maybe I'm missing something, and maybe you can educate me on it. But I just feel like all of a sudden, people get into a relationship or whatever else it is, and they want everything to be, you know, even beforehand, before it's a relationship, everything's supposed to be equal. I've got my own, mm. he's got his own, and boom, 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 boom. The minute we come together, it's no longer a partnership. It's now me looking after you, and I've got all this extra stress because I'm a man. Mm. Like, it feels I'm about like, that 50-50. Like, I'm not saying that, oh, we're supposed to be 50-50 on the bills or whatever else. It's maybe he covers the bills, you cover the food shopping, or whatever else it is. Like, but whatever I don't think you understand there's so many men that don't even do 50. And I think this is where we're coming from. And I can say of men I've dated, there's a lot of men are not even coming with 20%. You're one of a kind here, you know. Sweetie, but I, don't, I think this. you're just thinking that there's a lot of men no, like no, no, you. No, 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 I'm not saying there is. I'm not saying there is. But my thing is this. If I right, say, for example, yeah, if I consistently date or tend to pick up women that don't cook, don't clean, and don't really do nothing to bring nothing, towards the table why am I sitting here complaining about women if it's the women that I'm picking or what I'm accepting to be with me do you see what I'm saying to you do you see what I'm saying that's the that's the oneness of the situation yeah. if I can see it alright this person is not doing or doesn't do and I wouldn't be happy with the rest with this for the rest of my life I need to stop accepting this yeah it's my choice it's a choice yeah yeah, fair enough. Enough man don't do. I know it because I've got enough bridges that I've got man that don't do around me. I get it. I know. I get it. But in the same breath, allowing it. You know he don't do, but you lie down with him every day. You cook with for him. You call him babes. You do pictures. <laughs> like, you take him to your bridges wedding. Like, knowing he don't do fuck all for you. Like, but... You're gonna we're gonna sit down and then we're gonna go in the group chat and I'm complain not. to the girls about our lack of and whatever else it is. And what are we doing here? Yeah. What are we doing? You know really what? Doing and, I, and I walk away from this taking that on board. It is our choice because you're right. If you if keep on picking, no, my thing is this. Don't get it twisted. Enough man have bare man have poker face. They they play it well. Whatever else it is, till they get what they want or whatever else it is. So don't get it twisted. I'm not blaming women, you know. Because man are fucked. And this is what goes back to what I was saying beforehand. A lot of this problem that we have in regards, I'm not even say black men and black women, but in regards to relationships or whatever else it is, is that women with their heart on their sleeves, men don't. Mm-hmm. So you're trying to find and decipher what's going on from somebody who's not even being honest with themselves. 
100%. You see what I'm saying to you? It goes back to the being honest with yourself. Yourself thing. You see yeah. what I'm saying to you? What do yeah. I really want? Would this make me happy? Does her rubbing my head back in her little BJs make me feel good? Yeah. Can I tell the man them that? If I can't tell the man them that, that's not the man them. That's the yeah. rawness of the situation. We need to stop this facade stuff. I don't Honestly. care no more. That's the thing. Like yeah. I said, this me for crying, stand here and there, punch in your face, <laughs> and you can go back to your yard. You like that? Yeah? I go back to loving my gal, innit? You like that? <laughs> you like that? Like, what we did? <laughs> no, I don't get it. This yeah. is the thing. Just be 100%. open and honest about you and who you are and what you want or whatever else it is. You can just, if finding it will be a lot easier. Like, see me now, yeah? I've been out of a relationship since August 2018. Yeah? Jeez. No, that's the longest time I've ever been single in my life, okay. though. Do you see what I'm saying to you? And you needed but, that? 150%. 150% for the simple fact here. It took for me to, for this, to have this time to kind of get to certain goals. Remember, being diagnosed with epilepsy at 19, having my youth earlier, whatever else. So having epilepsy for nine and a half years, I wasn't allowed to drive. Wow. Remember, so for nine and a half years, when all oh, watching my brethren's drive, mm. I'm not allowed to. So much as you might see me in a quick car, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in that car driving or whatever else it is. I wasn't allowed to live by myself. So I remember a certain girl chatting about, Leto, if you ain't got his own yard, you don't have no car, and boom, 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 boom. I'm like, oh, you're the heartless. You. I'm like, oh. you're the heartless. No, no, but that's what it is. And that's the, the standards mm. that girl wanted. So I'm sitting back silently, yeah? Girl like, oh my God, dirty. Oh my God, I love your music, babes. Oh, let me give you some boom, boom. That's what they want to do. No, but that's the thing, yeah? Not realising. <laughs> <laughs> you live at home? I, I'm living at home with, with family or whatever. Mm. But this is what I'm saying to you. Mm. Not realising that my situation is is because I've got epilepsy mm. and da, 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 whichever else it is. But that's cool. I sit back and I say, yeah, I definitely don't want one of you. Mm. I definitely don't want one of you or whatever else it is. But I'm minding my business. Mm. You have to sit back and understand who you are to understand what you want. Do you know what I'm saying to you? You know when that, that it hit different? <laughs> you know, like... You know, real talk. Real talk. For years, I didn't understand what I actually wanted. You know what I mean? Or what I didn't want. So I'm just cutting through. Remember, mm. the more girl you have, it's a... For the man them, you know? Yeah. Remember, is. and these are people that you're so, somewhat looking up to. You know the man that's got the chain and the rare, rare. You're yeah, flexing yeah, yeah. his competition. Yeah. So you want the pat on the back. You yeah. want the praise. You want the ego boost in order to look respect comes from all yeah. of that. So when you're doing these things, remember you're damaging people along the way, you know. No. You're cheating and this girl. Yeah. You remember you're cutting through the mandem rate you, but you're breaking no. hearts and deep. You remember you got bear karma to pick up, you I'm know. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You got bear karma collection, you know. <laughs> you I'm telling away. you. you thing is mad on the way back to you, boy. You know them ones there? That's the rudeness of the situation. I've been born. I've, I've been cheated on. You know them ones there? Yeah. See, after years of understanding, what? Is that what I've been doing to the girl there? <laughs> Swear down. Like, is that what's really happening? Is <laughs> that what I'm doing? You know, like, it hurts. It hurts. And what? Even still, it after that. It destroys our soul. Listen, listen. It does that plus nine to the mandem. <laughs> Trust Jeez. me. Because, again, we don't deal with this often. Remember, mm-hmm. we ain't got an outlet for these emotions here. Remember, that's one of the biggest heartbreaks you can deal with. I guess. You put your, do you know what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Just breaking someone's The break, ego's yeah. mad then, you know? Because you're questioning your things and everything. Everything. Because you remember, you're walking around with this girl telling the man that this is my girl. Pride, chest, mind. <laughs> and then she's remember? gone out there. How does it feel when a woman says, you're a shit fuck anyway? Never had that conversation. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I wouldn't even lie. I'm not, this is not, no, 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 no. I don't want, I don't want to make it sound like I'm, I'm gloating on yeah, myself. Yeah, I'm not even trying to make it sound like, but I won't even lie to you. I've not had that conversation. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to boost up my thing for podcasts and camera or whatever else it is. But because women are heartless, we do say that, you know. We're listen like, to me. Shit, Let me tell you something. If a girl ever said that to me, yeah, she'd be lying. The reason being, yeah, the reason why I'm saying that, yeah, she would have to have said that in argument. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Like, in order for, how did we end up on this conversation anyway? You probably must have said that to yourself silently or may have said it to your brethren, but for you to have said that to me, we probably would have had it in, I've never had this conversation, by the way, now. <laughs> but it would have had to have been an argument. And you're probably lying because you probably would have made me clap more than once. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bitch. Sometimes like, we clap with dead things, though, I've got to say. That's your business, then. It's what you're accepting into your life. I? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And on that's that what... note, you see this accepted into the <laughs> life? 
I have learnt today <laughs> that yeah. men are more complex than yeah. I ever imagined. What you're and thinking. you know there's a part two that have to come out in this. <laughs> But today it's been a pleasure, you know. Thank you. Very, Thank you very for winging much. it with me. Listen, any, any, any time, my love, man. Yeah. Anytime, 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 my dear man. All right.